What is up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a YouTube logo for free without having to use any expensive programs like Photoshop. So if you guys do find this video helpful, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to go for 50 likes. And also guys, let me know in the comment section what are the types of videos you guys would like to see in the future. Now with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on the first link in the description. And it's going to take you to Pixlr Editor. Now once you're on this page, what you want to do is go ahead and click on create a new image. And since we're doing a YouTube logo, uh, the width and height for a YouTube logo is 800 by 800. So make sure to go ahead and type 800 by 800. Now go ahead and click on transparent and go ahead and click OK. Now once you're done with that, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, select a font that you want to use. Um, I have a video on how to download free fonts if you guys don't know how to do that. Uh, the font I'm going to use for this is called Raider Crusader. I'm going to leave a link in the description for that so you guys can uh, download it if you guys don't have it. Now what you want to do is go ahead and click uh, wherever right here on the image. And we're going to go ahead and look for Raider Crusader. It's right here. And for the size we're going to go ahead and max it out. Now once you're done with that go ahead and uh, type in the first letter of your channel name. I'm going to go ahead and type in the letter R because I like how the R looks. Uh, with this specific font and You guys can see how it looks now what you want to do is go ahead and click ok And now we're gonna go ahead and make this letter a little bit bigger since it's not big enough uh, We're gonna go ahead and right click on your text layer uh, Go ahead and click rasterize layer Go to edit free transform you can see these little squares around your uh, letter and make sure you hold shift when you resize and make it as big as you guys would like Uh, that looks good right there. Go ahead and click enter. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some color to our logo. So I already uh, have an image for my logo. Uh, you guys could go to Google, type in polygon texture, and uh, you guys should be able to get the same image I have. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Go to uh, layer. Open image as layer. And go ahead and select the image that you chose. I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up. I'm gonna resize this, it's a little bit too big. Go to edit, free transform. Uh, just make it a little bit smaller. So just make it big enough to cover your letter. I think that looks pretty good. Go ahead and click enter. Now next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on your text layer. And then you wanna go ahead and click on the magic wand tool right here. And go ahead and click wherever your letter is at. So you guys can see my letters right here. And you guys can see the little outline of my letter. Now what you want to do is go ahead and uh, right click. Uh, go ahead and click inverse selection. And now go ahead and click on your polygon layer. And then go ahead and click delete. I guess you get something like this. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, the text layer. Because we don't need it anymore. So go ahead and click delete. And you guys can see. You have your letter R right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some outline to our uh, text. So in order to do that, go ahead and right click on your uh, text layer. Go to the layer styles. And then we're going to go ahead and click outer glow. Go to hardness, make it uh, 10. For the size, I think uh, 5 is pretty good or 6. And then uh, we're going to make it white. Go ahead and click OK. OK. And that looks pretty good right there. Now, uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and add a background to our logo. So I already chose an image for myself. Just go to Google, type in space background, and you guys should be able to get the same image I have. Or I'm going to just leave the images in the description so you guys can um, go ahead and download the images. But yeah, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Go to uh, layer. Uh, open image as layer. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my space background. And then... Uh, we're going to go ahead and resize, so edit, free transform. Make sure you hold shift, and then go ahead and resize. Uh, I think that looks good right there. Go ahead and click enter. Now we're going to go ahead and move our logo right on top of our background. And you guys can see this is how it's going to look. Now if you guys want to change the color of your logo, you could just go to adjustment, uh, hue and saturation, and then you could change the color. You guys can see. You could change the color to whatever you want. So I think I'm going to leave it uh, blue. I think that looks good right there. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sharpen our logo. You guys can see that um, the outline is kind of like 
swivelly. Or I don't know how you call that, but um, we're gonna sharpen it a little bit. So go to your um, to the lasso tool. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on polygon the lasso tool, and we're just gonna go ahead and outline our image. And once you're done outlining your image, go ahead and right click, inverse selection, and then go ahead and click delete. And you guys can see our logo is a little bit more sharpened. If you guys take your time, you could obviously make it a lot better, but um, I kind of did it a little bit fast. So once you're done with your image and you think it looks good, um, in order to save it, go to file, make it a PNG, and then go ahead and click OK. Name it whatever you guys want and go ahead and click save. And yeah guys, this is how you create a free YouTube logo without having to use Photoshop. So hopefully you guys did find this video helpful. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Listen.